the country ball community is known to be weirdly strict about their specific rules on how to draw their balls. From weird distorted shapes to peculiar fashionable hats, there are a bunch of exceptions for these country balls. And in this video, I'll dive deep into the origins of these memes. And feel free to use the timestamps on the red bar or in the description if you only care about a specific country. Hey Slavic Vikings, and my last two videos are basically extensions of this video. I really recommend you watch them before this one. In the Why is Poland Drawn Upside Down video, I explain the origins of the country ball community, and it's a good introduction video, and I explain why Poland is drawn upside down. In short, it's just a German guy trying to make fun of a Polish troll on the German version of 4chan. And in my last video, I explain why Israel is drawn as a cube, and in short, it is a joke that comes from Nazi propaganda, but yeah, to dive deeper into it, you just have to watch the video. But another thing I say in my last video is that if that video got 500 likes, I would to make the video you're currently watching. Both of my last videos got over 1000 likes, which is amazing for my channel, and that's why I'm forced to make this video. The moderators and creators of the country ball rules are kind of huge nerds and that's why they care about the very specific countries that have exceptions and those are very limited. So the official countries that only have exceptions are the UK, Israel, Nepal, America or US, Kazakhstan, Singapore and the Fourth Reich. All other exceptions that I'll be talking in this video, other than the countries I just mentioned, are only exceptions that are sometimes used in practice in other comics. Because please don't forget that despite there being so many rules about country balls, 90% of the comics I see on the internet break at least one rule, for example by including more than these mentioned exceptions. So just have that in mind when watching this video, but let's cover the first official exception, that being the greatest country in the world. Yes, that's right, Kazakhstan ball is always drawn as a brick or carpet. And therefore it is not referred to as Kazakhstan ball, but Kazakhstan brick. And the reason for this is actually very interesting. But in short, Kazakhstan always has dreamt and multiple times has tried to join the official BRIC community, that being the economic and strategic investment group of Brazil, Russia, India and China. And the acronym for those countries is BRIC or BRIC. And if Kazakhstan joined this BRIC community, it would be actually just a BRIC spelled properly, since, you know, BRIC is spelled with a C and K. Uh, one more thing about BRIC, so in short BRIC is basically an international organization where a bunch of huge superpowers or I guess global powers are trying to create some sort of a loose alliance that is meant to counter the hegemony of the US dollar. Since the US is basically an imperial power all over the world, they have so much influence, so many military bases, and the US dollar is the exchange currency of the world, these BRIC nations are trying to counter that and create a more of a multipolar world. But coming back to Kazakhstan, they tried applying for membership many times because they would love to join the organization. However, even with the newest announcement of the new BRIC expansion members, Kazakhstan sadly is not included, since on January 1st, 2024, just a couple months ago, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran and the United Arab Emirates are the new BRICS members, which is kind of sad for Kazakhstan, but what can you do? Everything I just told you was a freaking lie, because that might be the most common joke on the internet on why Kazakhstan is a brick, since similarly to how Poland can't into space in the same way Kazakhstan can't into bricks, that's like a very popular meme in these comics, but the real reason comes all the way back from 2009, just like with the Poland upside down origin, and that being before Poland balls, obviously there were still a lot of conversations and jokes about countries, 
and therefore before country balls, the way they would depict, for example, flares, if you don't know what flares are, they're like the little logos next to, for example, profile pictures on Reddit or something like that, like tags next to your profile, those would be rectangles or squares before Poland balls, before country balls. And the real origin is that in this German 4chan, this crowd chan, they literally just forgot to change Kazakhstan into a brick, and that is the real origin. Isn't that just hilarious? So yes, both Poland being upside down and Kazakhstan being a brick are originated from a stupid mistake from decades ago. However, that's not it for Kazakhstan, since another theory is that if you look at Kazakhstan's flag, it is in fact very long and it would be very awkward to fit it on a flag, so therefore it makes kind of logical sense to make it a rectangle. Another stupid theory is that they moved their capital to Astana and therefore they needed many many bricks to you know build all the new buildings and they got so overwhelmed that they became Kazakh brick themselves. That's a stupid theory so let's move on quick. Okay, so one more theory on Kazakhstan and that is gonna be this video by Swedish Ball or a channel that is basically Swedish Finn or half Swede, half Finn. Just like how I am half Polish, half Danish, kind of interesting that we have similar channel concepts. But yeah, he made this video half a year ago and he attempts to explain why Kazakhstan is a brick. So I'm gonna review this video real quick. Okay, so quick context, so Kazakhstan is kind of the playground of the Soviet Union and even to this day Russia, since Kazakhstan is closer to the equator than the rest of Russia, Stalin and the people who replaced him often used nuclear weapons on Kazakhstan as experiments and even a huge part of Kazakhstan is officially sold to the Russian Empire that being the Cosmodrone area which is a huge circle inside Kazakhstan that Russia uses to send uh, rockets to space and Kazakhstan is used for nuclear testing so that's why that's where this meme comes from So here you can see that from the many experimentations that were going on in Kazakhstan by Russia or the Soviet Union, there were many nuclear mistakes or disasters and here you can see a very beautiful graphic of radiation spreading around the Soviet Union. And uh, here you can see the USSR asking Poland what it should do. And Poland answers just cover the source of radiation, radioactivity. So that's what the Soviet Union does. Oh yeah, and here you could see for half a frame um uh, this Oh my god, why is it so short? This is the Palace of Culture, Palace Kulture in Warsaw, which Stalin gifted, you could say, to us. Uh, after World War II, so here's a joke that this is the gift was because Poland gave the idea to cover up the source of radiation. Yeah, kind of funny. So it's very interesting to see this image because this is not how this tower looks like nowadays. I can almost see it from where I live right now, and uh, it is basically brown and dirty and shit. And there's a lot of controversy around this tower in Poland because you know Stalin gave it to us and we hate Russia. So here you can see the Soviet Union covers the source of radiation in a big uh, metal box. And it saved the radiation, it is gone. But the consequence is that Kazakhstan is now a square or a rectangle. And then, uh, okay, one more, more, one more reference. So Russia has left the USSR because as you know, when the, when the USSR got demolished and all the countries slowly left, interestingly enough, Kazakhstan was the last country to leave the Soviet Union. So for a brief moment in history, Kazakhstan was the entire Soviet Union. And then when they finally decided to stop being communist like the rest of the states, they stayed a brick. And that's why they are great. I don't know if that was worth it, but let's move on. 
So next up is probably the most requested exception on our country ball list and that being Singapore. Yet another official exception and you can see Singapore is this tiny country right here. And the first theory about why Singapore is a triangle is because it is kind of shaped like a triangle as you can see here with a pretty flat bottom and two angles cutting it right here. This is not the best theory, there's much better ones so listen up. So the next theory comes from this very clever meme which explains that Singapore is a triangle because it is so small and dense and they're extremely efficient with their space and since it is such a small economic zone they need to be a triangle to fill in all the spaces since you know if you put a bunch of circles next to each other there will be a bunch of free space so this is a smart joke. What's interesting about this example is that unlike the other official exceptions, the official real reason is actually unknown. But the most popular one is a simple pun. And that being that Singa kind of sounds similar to Trianga and therefore it's kind of nice and satisfying to say Triangapore. You know, it would be very awkward to say Singapore ball that doesn't uh, go smoothly off the tongue as they say so you know just pronunciation also kind of helps. Another theory is the Indonesia Malaysia Singapore growth triangle and this is a union or I should say an organization founded in 1994 between these three countries to basically just strengthen the economic links between these three countries and it is known to be called as a triangle, the growth triangle. So that's why Singapore is a triangle. This one's a kind of a reach, but yeah. A stupid theory is that Singapore was ruled by three colonies or three colonizers before its independence, that being the UK, and Malaysia before they got kicked out, and the Japanese Empire for a short while. So next up this meme explains why Singapore is a triangle and here you can say Poland asking Singapore why are you a triangle and here uh, you can see Malaysia kicking out Singapore since that is historically what happened which is kind of hilarious since Singapore is literally the best place to live on earth right now and they got kicked out and while getting kicked out they were flying and they hit a rock which cut them into a triangle and then for they were like cleaning the blood of themselves and poured some white shit on themselves, I think paint that is, and that's why their flag is red and white like Poland and their triangle because they caught, they got caught up while getting kicked out. And then uh, Poland saying, wow, is that really what happened? And then Indonesia sweating because the truth is the first theory I mentioned here, which is that the Straits of Singapore kind of look like a triangle. So this kind of confirms the first uh, theory of the actual island looking like a triangle. The next theory is the Illuminati theory by NerpyTN. I'm gonna use a clip from him. He makes great reviews of time periods in history using country balls. His comics are great, make sure to check him out. And honestly, it would be really hard for me to explain, so I'll let him do this segment. In the Poland Ball Wiki, Tringapore is called an Asian Illuminati. That secret community, most of you know it. So Tringapore's shape is inspired from the Illuminati Pyramid. In one of Illuminati's beliefs, money is not the root of all evil, money is the root to all freedom. This sentence represents the Pyramid. And Singapore is known for its fast development after getting independence from Malaysia in very bad conditions. So Singapore used money wisely for freedom. Though this can be a thing. But I guess Illuminati Singapore joke is inspired from Tringapore instead. Cause there's no known joke or stereotype about something relates Singapore with the Illuminati. So he explains that the Illuminati theory is linked to Singapore's economic success and what I would like to underline is that this goes much deeper since it is deeply built in the Singaporean mentality 
that money and work is extremely vital for their existence, since when they got their independence from Malaysia, the Prime Minister basically said that since we're such a small country, the only way we will be able to be visible on the world stage is if we all work ourselves to death, if we just work, 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 and that's why Malaysia has one of the highest working hours in the world, they're extremely high workers, and honestly, this Illuminati quote that you can see on screen right now kind of encapsulates that, and it's kind of sad that they were kind of right. The Singaporean people, they worked extremely hard over the last decades, and as a result of that, they have one of the highest life quality indexes in the world, they're extremely rich, and prosperous and every person that I met from Singapore was also very smart and educated so this theory might be a bit more scary but yeah I think that's enough for Singapore. Probably the most mysterious of all the exceptions. Please let me know if you know the real reason, the most official reason because I truly can't find an official explanation and this Singapore being a triangle really is confusing to me since it doesn't really make sense. Singapore is not the only country because the overseas territories of Bermuda is also drawn as a triangle according to the official reddit rules on the Poland Ball community, the r slash Poland Ball, and this is obviously just because of the Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle is this area in the Caribbean where ships magically disappear. So moving on to one official exception and one unofficial exception, we have Ohio and Nepal. Both of these are drawn as weird monsters with teeth and their reason for this is quite simple. Simply that the official flags of these countries are in these weird shapes. If you look at the flag of Nepal, you can see that it has like two triangles on top of each other that has this really weird shape. I love the flag of Nepal, it's really unique and I love how they break the conventions of normal flags. And Ohio, you know, Ohio, like always, it has to be unique with all the stupid fucking Generation Alpha Ohio memes coming up. It makes sense that Ohio has to have this weirded ass shaped flag. So that's why both of these countries are shaped as monsters with teeth because these countries have very unique flags and these country balls just reflect that. However, take a look at this picture right here. This is what the country balls would look like if someone would attempt to make them into real country balls. Personally, I really don't like this and I think the monsters are a much better option. However, the big minus about this Ohio ball and Nepal ball is that it kind of removes a lot of emotion and character from these balls. It's kind of just like a faceless monster and, you know, it is what it is, but yeah, let's move on. Next up we have USA Ball, and USA Ball is always drawn with sunglasses. And this isn't only because of Joe Biden, it's because the US and Americans are known to be very egocentric with their worldview. They see themselves as the best country in the world, so they look down upon other countries. However, that is not the only reason America has sunglasses and I'll explore the many different theories on why the US has this feature. So first of all this comic right here where Poland asks the US why it has glasses all the time and America agrees to show it to him. So the US shows it to Poland and it shows that the US has been hiding confederate America in their eyes which I think is meant to symbolize that the civil war has left a deep impact on American society. So this next meme is a bit confusing, but it starts the same way as the other one. Poland asking the US why it always is wearing glasses. And it says, fine, I'll take it off. And when the US takes their glasses off, they're constantly smiling. And the this comes from the meme where, or not meme, I guess the real stereotype that Americans constantly smile. They have this fake white teeth that for some reason they think looks good and then they just show their teeth and constantly like smiling extremely and then when they come to Europe and smile to the Europeans, the Europeans don't smile back because in Europe when you're smiling it's seen as you're trying to hide something or plan something and it's just not as normal. So yeah, here you can see that Poland is kind of scared of US constantly smiling to it. 
So that's why the US has glasses. So this next comment I'll just read. America, why are you wearing sunglasses? Let me tell you, the whole story, Poland, goes way back to 1941, when I was still minding my own business. It's a great day for American, but I better prepare to fight those Hitlers, Mussolinis and Togos and save the world. Canada won't do it. Then suddenly, Tura, Tura, Tura. No, why me? Why America? That was by far the saddest day anybody has had in this world, so basically just Pearl Harbor. And uh, years went by, yet the tears wouldn't dry. So because of Pearl Harbor, America keeps crying and then Poland comes up and... But the world needs a hero to look up to. One who never cried, that's why I wear sunglasses. You can be proud America and saved us all. God bless what actually happened. I wonder if one can eat a hamburger with a fork. Five minutes later, oh fuck, and then America stabs themselves in the eye. This this joke isn't that funny. I guess it kind of explains why the US has sunglasses. It says that the US wears sunglasses because Pearl Harbor was so traumatic that they keep crying and they have to have a strong face for the Western world. But in reality, they just tried eating a burger with a fork and stabbed themselves in the eye. Another kind of a stupid meme, but it explains it good enough. I also love how the Americans are somehow claiming that Pearl Harbor was somehow the worst thing to happen on Earth, considering the same things that were happening on Earth during that time. You know, the Holocaust, uh, the nuclear bombings of Japan, or the awful genocides in China. I don't know, it's kind of another proof of the egocentric view of Americans. Oh no, a surprise attack on a military base? Americans are so safe on their little continent that their biggest tragedy is a secret attack on a military base. No offense, Americans, I just think that's kind of funny. I'm gonna be honest, these comics sometimes are so confusing and deliberate with their messaging, so I won't read this comic. You can read it at your own time, but... So here you can have this, just pause if you want to read it. But in short, when the UK and the US had a war for their independence, because of that the US got a scar on their eye, and then for some reason they got again another scar in the same place from the civil war, and then Canada gave them sunglasses to hide the scar from the civil war. These, these jokes are really, really trying to get a reach and and there's no real symbolism or connection to the broken eye these jokes are not that good but yeah there's a couple more so the last two theories are about the u.s having lasers for their eyes mexico and canada chilling with the u.s and then they try to take the glasses off and then when they take the glasses off, lasers go out of the US's eyes and burns them. And that's why they always have to wear these glasses to not burn the other countries. But if we look here, this is yet another meme that references uh, US having freedom blasts or lasers from their eyes. So this is actually a much better meme. It's much more understandable. And so here you can see Imperial Japan fighting the US and then the US uh, used their final weapon of freedom blast or the two nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in this comic being exemplified as freedom blast caused by the US taking off their glasses and then after the US collapsed Japan changed into cute old kawaii baka Japan that is not so imperial anymore and this is a great transition to why Japan is so gay. Take a look at this YouTube short. So first of all, we have Imperial Japan attacking and defeating Poland, which makes absolutely no sense since Poland was actually very friendly with Japan all throughout the war. When Poland declared war on Japan, Japan literally refused the declaration because they knew that Polish, the Polish state like didn't really exist because you know it was under occupation of the Soviet Union and the Germans and the government was just run by the UK or from the UK I should say and that's why Japan just 
saw it as a puppet of the UK, so they didn't accept the declaration of war by Poland onto their country, which I think is an amazing uh, symbol of how close Japan and Poland were together. They, throughout many, many years before World War II, helped each other with spies and stuff uh, for the Soviet Union. They both hated communists. So I guess this meme is trying to symbolize Japan as the axis, like since, you know, Japan was in an alliance with Germany and Italy and Germany invaded Poland. So Japan defeating Poland here is trying to symbolize Germany actually defeating Poland. It makes no sense, but the rest of the meme is cool. So let's give it a chance. So you can see that the US just bombed Japan and it turned gay, it turned into a furry watching hentai and uh, you know, it might have been because of the radiation but that is pretty much the meme about why Japan is so weird nowadays compared to how cool it was when it was imperial. And then uh, the US, like they love to do, they took their culture and started reading it. But let's not look at the consent laws, the legal limit in Japan, because it's quite different than from the US. So let's see what happens. Okay, so that was a bit cringe, but uh, you get the joke. So Japan is known to be very elastic when it comes to their age limit for uh, like anime and other stuff that you can watch. And this joke is trying to show that, that, you know, when US people are watching that, that, that the uh, police department is watching behind their back. But what I'm trying to focus on is this part right here, where Imperial Japan got bombed and changed into gay Japan. So that is why Japan is drawn very often in the country balls as a kawaii anime character with ears and stuff. So before the country ball nerds start writing angrily in the comments, yes, this is one of the non-official exceptions since the official Poland ball should be drawn like you can see here, just a normal ball with the normal flag. But in so many comics it's drawn as this weird cat thing, you know, anime thing that I just had to cover it since it's just a fact of nature, a fact of truth that in 50% of the comics I would say uh, Japan is depicted in this weird way. What makes this meme much funnier is the fact that Japan literally committed worse genocide and worse war crimes than Hitler and you know the Nazis. Literal Nazis when they went to visit their allies in China they got horrified of what the Japanese were doing to the Chinese. Just just do some research on your own responsibility. But yeah, the fact that Japan nowadays is shown as this cute, innocent little ball with cute little bunny ears and all that is much funnier considering the really dark past it has. And this meme shows that very well since it shows that, wow, everybody loves Japan now since they're so cute and innocent. Yeah. But no, it's all part of their plan, like you can see here, or pran, since, you know, Asians can't pronounce R. So let's go back to the official exceptions, and that being the UK, one of the most iconic country balls. And the UK is wearing this classic black top hat and a monocle. And the official reason for this is that the United Kingdom is looking back at the good old days of their empire. Since, yes, you know, UK isn't doing so well nowadays and over the last decades they literally lost like half of the world to decolonization and nowadays it is looking like even poor old Poland will become richer than the UK in a couple of years which is not looking so well so therefore it makes sense that the UK would like to show themselves as they were in the Victorian or the Industrial Revolution. So yeah, that's why the UK wears a, a top hat and monocle. However, the memes and comics that explain this are probably one of my favorite. So let's take a look at them. Starting with this meme that is over 12 years old. It looks like it was created by Falco. And you can see here, 
the UK is asking, Oh no, Poland, why has made stealing of my top hat and monocle? Why the fuck is the UK speaking broken English if it's their native language? You can see this is breaking another rule, but whatever. Poland, have you seen them? And then Poland answers no or no. And the joke here is, I think that um, in Polish no means a, a, like informal yes or informal okay. So you can see it's kind of answering it honestly in Polish, but dishonestly in English. It's a quite a funny joke, but there's better ones. So this comic right here explains my initial and official theory. So here you can see that America as the son of the UK asks why they're wearing their monocle. And the US is saying it's unfashionable. The monocle and top hat are very old fashioned. And then you can see that through this old fashioned monocle, the UK can see its old fashioned empire, which I think is really cute. And I really like this meme that the UK is wearing this monocle so that through their monocle that is hundreds of years old, they can see their hundreds of years old empire. This meme right here shows that the UK is wearing a top hat to hide their knife since the stereotype of the UK loving to stab, especially in London, with the UK having a realistic problem of constant stabbing, at least it's not uh, shootings like in the US, and then they have this fake monocle to hide their snobbish remark generator, their brain, and their stomach being a tea biscuit uh, digester, and them having no feet. Next up we have this meme where the UK is trying to talk to the Nordics and Germany with them having geographically northern countries above them. And then the UK also has a geographically northern country above them which is also inside them. That being Scotland and Scotland being always very angry at the UK wants them to put them down. However, the UK is wearing a top hat to hide them. So that's why the UK is wearing a top hat. A very nice explanation. So here we have yet another meme that is referencing the UK's old colonies. Poland comes up to the UK and asks them why they are wearing this old fashioned style. And then it turns out that in secret the UK is hiding proof of the kingdoms of Great Britain's claim of the colonies in their hat which I guess is an explanation of the UK will want to reclaim their colonies in the future. Another meme here, America asks the UK why you're wearing this old monocle and the UK answers that it had practical functions of burning the Irish. This is referencing the hundreds of years of oppression the British did towards the Irish. Hilarious. So I also think it's worth mentioning that there is another official rule for another country to be drawn as a monocle and a top hat on them, and that being Hong Kong. And that's just simply because Hong Kong used to be a UK colony in China for many many years until they had to give it back to China a couple years ago. So yeah, Hong Kong is also drawn in this way. So in summary, the UK is drawn in this way because it is reminiscing the old empire. However, we have one more official exception on our list and that being a historic one and that being the Fourth Reich. So there were many attempts to create a German empire and the last one were the Nazis with Hitler and that being the Third Reich. The meme of the Fourth Reich is meant to represent the potential future attempt of Germany changing into a scary imperial ball that is gonna conquer other nations. And that Germany is often drawn as a very tall rectangle with tiny menacing eyes. And in these memes, it is often just scaring Poland and its neighbors. So the comic you see right now is over 12 years old. And this is the origin of this meme of Germany being drawn in this very specific way with tiny eyes and a rectangle. So it is made very, very long time ago. And you can see that Germany, democratic Germany, which is black, red and yellow, is just chilling. Everybody's sleeping and then Poland being a bit worried and then boom. Germany changes into this menacing Fourth Reich and the first step is Poland dying, 
then Austria gets scared, and then Austria gets Anschluss. So the German Fourth Reich is growing. And then you can see Russia is coming concerned about Poland, which is a bit unrealistic. But uh, Russia comes and then Germany hops from above and kills Russia also. And then finally Germany turns around and sees a panicking France seeing all of their friends dying. But no worries since Napoleon also comes back and then we have the classic old battle of France and Germany with France turning to their Napoleonic Empire and Germany to their Imperial Empire also. And the last page of this comic just shows every single country, including the US, I think, in the background here, just dead. So I guess this meme is trying to predict the future of the Fourth Reich coming back and conquering all nations, including the US. Very interesting concept, but yeah, this is the origin of the meme. And I guess this is our first Poland ball on our list that isn't an actual real country since this meme of the Fourth Reich is only a prediction of the future of when Germany turns evil and conquers all other nations, starting with Poland as always. I would also like to mention that this Reichstangel, how it's called, is often also confused for the Second Reich since they have the same flag. And there's many discussions on whether the Second Reich should use the same flag or the same flag but in a ball, but uh, it doesn't matter that much and people use it exchangeably, but yeah. And with that, we've covered all the official country ball exceptions. Uh, please remember that many of the exceptions I already talked about in this video were non-official ones that are just used in practice. However, we have some more exceptions to cover. So our next two examples are probably the most simple ones to explain, that being Panama and Chile. Starting with Panama, Panama is often shown as being brutally split up into two. And the simple reason is because of the Panama Canal. Since you can see on this map right here, the Panama Canal cuts through the country all the way in half. And that's why Panama is shown to be split up into two. And yeah, that's basically the reason. However, there are a couple of funny memes. For example, this story right here, which actually explains some history very well. So, Colombia used to own Panama when they had, you know, an empire, basically. Colombia used to be much bigger, I believe they were called like Grand Colombia or something. And France had this idea to cut through the Panama Canal to have easier access to, through the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. So they started cutting through uh, Panama. However, because it is such a tropical area, the French were suffering through malaria and other diseases. And they were actually losing so many people to diseases and it was so hard to dig through such hard terrain that they literally failed and had to quit. So France lost the battle to dig the canal, but don't worry since the US came and they basically funded the independence movements of pa Panama. They said we will fund your independence movements for Panama if you let us build this canal. So they did that like the US loves doing and they dug the canal through Panama with sheer economic might and they succeeded and now they had control over the canal. However, notably, they lost control over it a couple of decades ago. So next up, why is Chile drawn as a long snake in comics? And the simple reason is the geography, just like with the Panama Canal. If you look at the map of Chile, it is absurdly and comically long. Just look, it's going all the way almost from Antarctica all the way up here to the Bolivian coast, or what I should say, what was the Bolivian coast. That's a reference to a meme I'm about to show you, since uh, where is this meme? Here you can see a meme about Bolivia and uh, Chile just chilling, and then they had a war, and then because of this war, Chile got even longer and Bolivia lost their coast, and Bolivia to this day is very bitter about this loss. Other than that, there's just a bunch of comics that show Chile being flattened or extended, like you can see here. It's a, it's a pretty funny joke since their geography is so unique, but you might ask why is Chile so long? And the simple reason is the Andes Mountains, since these mountains are what border Chile and Argentina, and 
they're very defensible and it's just always a smart decision to use mountains as a border since cultural differences on the different sides of mountains are usually the biggest plus it's a good defensible thing and the geography is different on different sides of mountains which is very true if you look at for example the Himalayas with it being very tropical south of the Himalayas but it being one of the uh, driest deserts on earth from the north it's pretty similar here in South America with the nations of Chile and Argentina being very culturally and geographically different despite being right next to each other. So therefore, on the first sight, it might not make sense that Chile is so long. But if you think about it a bit more, it does kind of make sense because of these mountains. Next up is Michigan Cube. Shout out to AB from the H3 pod. And as you can see here, Michigan is very, very much drawn as a 3D cube, much like Israel. And the reason for this is actually interesting, and I had no idea about this. But if you look at Michigan, first of all, let me go away from Poland. This right here is Michigan. And I must say, the borders of Michigan are very satisfying. It's like this cool-ass peninsula. Oh, shit. And then for some reason, they have this northern, northern bit up here. But this isn't the explanation why there is square. The reason is that this is their official motto. Si queris peninsulam ameonam circumspice. And focus on this word, circumspice. And circumspice kind of sounds like circumcise. So that's why Michigan is a square because they got circumcised. And here I can reference the meme from my last video why Israel is a cube. They are also a cube because they got circumcised, but they got circumcised because they're Jewish, and Michigan got circumcised because they have circumspice in their motto, which kind of sounds like circumspice. And actually, interestingly enough, I know there's a bunch of Muslims in Michigan. I think Muslims also will circumcise, right? Wait, do they? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the Muslims do not have to circumcise, but in practice they still do it much like the americans so i guess that's another reason why michigan is circumcised is because they have a shit ton of muslims in like detroit and and uh, what's it called where ab lives so i guess it also makes sense that the, the michigan is circumcised because they have a bunch of muslims and muslims have a higher chance to be circumcised compared to christians so that's two reasons why Michigan is circumcised. So here you can see a meme that basically shows the reason why Michigan is a square. Whatever Poland talks to Israel, then Israel gets mad at Michigan, and then Israel turns Michigan into a cube because they're circumcised. I don't really understand why Israel is here, I guess just because they're a cube, but whatever. This meme just explains what I explained earlier. So on the official Poland Ball Reddit, it also says that Wyoming should be drawn as a square or a rectangle. And I believe this is because of their flag. Their flag has a very clear and uh, strong rectangle on them. And on the map, they're also a perfect rectangle. I might as well just add the exceptions of the Vatican having the Mitre hat, the official Pope hat on them. And then Venice, the Republic of Venice, when they used to have kind of, of an empire compared to just being a city, they have long tentacles. I couldn't find the reason why they have these long tentacles. I think it's because they had like colonies all around Europe. But uh, if you know the real reason, please let me know. And let's move on. One more official exception from the Poland Ball Reddit, and that being the Mamluk Sultanate, which is a very old empire that was around the areas of Syria, Israel, Egypt, and all that. And their flag has this very weird shape, so similarly to Ohio and Nepal, they're also drawn as this monster. Now, Canada is the last country on purpose, because I genuinely don't understand why the exception of Canada exists. Why is Canada drawn with a coonskin cap? So if you look at the Wikipedia page, coonskin cap is basically just this old uh, hat that is made from a coon, which is popular in Northern America. Like, So if you look at the coonskin cap, what country? 
it says that it is generally in Native American peoples, Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia. These aren't Canadian places. Look at this. A coonskin cloud fashion with fur head were associated with European Americans occupying lands of the United States borders. So it's a general place of the border region of Canada and the US. But why is this specifically a Canadian feature? Shouldn't the US ball also have a coonskin hat? So please explain to me in the comments why the coonskin cap is specifically Canadian. I genuinely don't understand it. Even in the official Poland ball wiki, it has a coonskin hat. Is it like the official animal, official hat or something in Canada? Or maybe it's just very popular. But yeah, I'm just confused. So I just quickly want to mention that there are a bunch more exceptions when it comes to eye patches, since many many different countries love putting emblems and herbs and stuff on their uh, country. So therefore many artists when making comics, they use their uh, artistic creativity to make part of the flag as one of the eyes to cover up the eye like so it's an eye patch like for example most often done with Serbia right here and honestly it does make sense since it's a big part of the flag and it makes sense it to, for it not to be covered by the eye like you can see here with the Slavic nations it's very popular and uh, also with Austria-Hungary it's an uh, exception exception because they have both of their eyes covered because they have two of the emblems on their flag and by the way this flag of uh, Austria-Hungary wasn't even the official flag of the nation it's just something that it got popular by it being on Wikipedia I'm pretty sure to really make sure that I'm covering every single exception in this video now it's time for a speed round where I will talk about other country exceptions that are just a bit more rare so you will see these countries being drawn most of the time as just normal balls but also very often in their unique outfits so starting with indonesia ball having the same flag as the upside down poland ball they obviously need uh, indication to differentiate them from poland so they're uh, shown often with this religious hat on themselves so that they can be uh, different from Poland. And it's the same with Monaco. Monaco, to be different from the Poland ball, is drawn very small. I mentioned this in my video on Upside Down Poland. But moving on, France is often drawn with a baguette, an artistic little gay hat, and sometimes even a mustache, just because that is such a stereotypical view of France. And also, as you even saw in earlier comics, they often have the Napoleon hat on them. The reason for this is just because France is such an iconic nation that it is a cool way to give characteristics to this country. But please remember that, that these exceptions I'm talking about now in my speed round are just kind of bonuses and they aren't real exceptions, not even close to the ones I talked more extensively on earlier. Saudi Arabia is drawn with their traditional religious attire because it is what makes them unique. When you see someone in this outfit, you just know they're from Saudi Arabia. So that's why you can often see Saudi Arabia in the, the country balls drawn in this way. Here you can see some more examples of that. Take a look at these uh, Saudi ball country balls. Next up, we have Jamaica ball and Netherlands ball. So both Netherlands ball, as you can see here, and Jamaica ball are very often drawn as being high. And that is because these two countries, wait a second, country ball, you can see that uh, these two countries of Netherlands and Jamaica are known for their marijuana consumption, uh, even though in the Netherlands uh, marijuana isn't technically legal, it's just decriminalized. Next up we have the worst country on earth, that being Russia. Russia is often drawn with their traditional uh, communist Russian, what the fuck is this hat called? The traditional Russian hat, you know, if you see someone in this hat, they're, they're either a communist or uh, they just love Russia for some reason, or they are Russian. It's kind of, uh, you see this hat sometimes here in Poland, in Warsaw, where I live. Sometimes people wear this hat, but not that often. It's uh, seen as pretty cringe, so let's move on. Ireland is often drawn in a top hat, but not like the British top hat, in a green much cooler top hat in my opinion with a four leaf clover next to it to symbolize the leprechaun and rainbows they're known for so that's why ireland is sometimes drawn with a green top hat because they're leprechauns and with the lucky charm you know 
it's just traditional stuff that Ireland is known for. And then Mexico is sometimes drawn with a sombrero. I think it's called, you know, the, it's called, you know, the classic Mexican hat uh, and like tacos and stuff. Just remember, country balls are here to affirm stereotypes. So any stereotypes that can be easily visually indicated and shown will be shown in country ball comics. And that's why our last example is going to be Australia with Australia being drawn with their classic uh, Australian hat and sometimes a boomerang. I like drawing Australia in a boomerang in my videos where I use country balls. So with that, we are done. Please do let me know if I missed any exceptions for the country ball comics, uh, write down in the comments. And also please check out the memberships, maybe join the memberships of this channel, you'll get unique emojis. Please consider liking and subscribing if you want more country ball content. However, I've kind of run out of ideas for Poland ball content. So leave a comment down below of ideas that you want for this topic. If any comment gets like over 100 likes, I'll probably make the video. But I will take a break from making country ball content uh, for now. Unless this video somehow gets 1000 likes. However, I doubt it because that's a rare occurrence for me. The video is over now, so you can stop watching. Okay, I don't know why you're still watching, but since you're here, let's take a look at some memes and country ball stuff that I would like to show you. So, uh, from my last video, I got a shit ton of new Israeli subscribers. I got like 200 new Jewish subscribers, so shalom and welcome to you. And for you, I have this uh, Jewish meme. So here you can see Israel getting bombed by Hamas. And uh, by the way, I've heard you guys got bombed by Iran recently. Let's hope World War III doesn't happen, but yeah, whatever. Here you can see Hamas bombing Israel and then quick uh, running into tunnel. And then uh, the Hamas or Palestine, whatever, quickly runs into the tunnel and uh, Israel is trying to get in, but they can't because there is square. Uh, I found this meme and comic pretty funny since, you know, it references both the joke about Israel being a square or a cube and also the fact that the Jews are having a huge issue with, uh, or I shouldn't say the Jews, the IDF is having huge issues in entering the tunnels. So this meme kind of encapsulates those memes very well. Next up is a meme about how uh, Estonia is trying to join the Nordics. That's one of the jokes that is very much repeated in Country Ball Comics is that because Estonia's geography and culture is very close to Scandinavia and the Nordics, they always want to be officially recognized as part of them. However, the Nordics in Scandinavia do not accept them, like you can see in this meme. They constantly reject them and then Finland tells them that the reason why is because their flag is not a Nordic cross. So Estonia changes their flag so it looks like a Nordic cross but the Scandinavians and Nordics still reject Estonia. Uh, this joke about Estonia wanting into Nordics is much funnier than Poland wanting into space and uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Kazakhstan wanting into bricks. But uh, yeah, by the way, I made an entire video on why the Nordic cross is on all of these flags, why all of the Scandinavian and Nordic countries share a very similar flag. So check out that video and let's take a look at the next one. So this next meme is another one I found very funny. And in short, you can see UK being angry at the EU and telling them they don't want to be ruled from Brussels and we want to be independent. Why should we have some people in, a, you know, a bigger community ruling over our country? And uh, this is referencing Brexit, obviously. But then Scotland goes up to the UK and asks for the same thing. We don't want to be part of this union. So all the way back in 2014, Scotland had a referendum to get their independence and it was really close. 45% of the people voted to get their independence, only 5% and 5% is everything. And after that, 
and during COVID especially, the UK got really scared that their empire would collapse even more. So they just said, you know what, no more referendums, you're staying with us forever. And I think that after Brexit and all this drama with their economics going to shit and most expensive electricity on earth, etc, etc, I think honestly there's a high chance that the... Uh, that Scotland would vote for their independence if they got the chance nowadays. So, yeah, I think it's kind of a funny, hypocritical moment for the UK that they want to keep this union of the United Kingdom, however, not the union of the European Union. And then the last thing I would like to talk about is... Oh, shit. Let me remove the sound or just make it very quiet. Um... Yeah, I have to do that here. Yeah, okay, so while making research for this video, I found this video game that is a country ball PvP shooter. And surprisingly, I actually really like the graphics of here. They're very unique, they look really good, and honestly, the gameplay looks pretty advanced and fun. And surprisingly, I found out that this game turned out to be kind of a huge failure and is not popular at all. And if you want to check out this game, I, re I won't recommend it because I didn't play it, but it looks really cool, so maybe check it out. Uh, I also saw that here in the gameplay you get like achievements and you level up and then you unlock new countries. And you can like get specific upgrades to specific countries and you unlock different country balls. Seems like a cool game. I don't know why it's not popular. Uh, maybe country balls are a bit too niche, but yeah. That's gonna be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, Favel, Jegnam, and goodbye.